Good morning, and thank you for allowing me into your homes this morning to speak to you about the 2021 annual pledge drive. 2020, wow, what a year. We've had tornadoes, 27 hurricanes in the U.S., a derecho in Iowa and surrounding states, earthquakes, tsunamis, out-of-control fires, dam breaches and other flooding, murder hornets, European ash borers, civil unrest, political bickering, an economic downturn, and a COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm still not sure I've listed all of them. The pandemic is causing us to take extraordinary measures and precautions to protect ourselves and others. We are wearing masks and social distancing. We're ordering more things online, having things delivered or picking up them up at the curbside. We're isolating ourselves, deciding who we can and cannot be with including friends and family. We even have restarted online-only worship services to slow the spread of the airborne virus. But there's also good news on the horizon. The election will soon be, take place and the annoying political ads and phone calls should stop. A COVID-19 vaccine will eventually be delivered and available to protect us from the virus. But the biggest good news is that our church is still being the church. We are still worshiping together, even if it is online. The service brings the true preaching of the word of God to us all. We are still fellowshipping together. Small groups are still studying the Bible, and we are reaching out to those that are shut in or are worshiping with us remotely. We are still doing worship, mission, locally and abroad, individually and as a group. We are contributing to the general mission of the church. We are contributing to the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance Fund. And we are helping our sister parish, El Rosate, in El Salvador. Why do we do these things? We give in gratitude, which is this year's Pledge Drive theme. We should live every day thankful for all that God has given us. Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18 say, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The response for all God's gifts to us is to give back. Our church needs your gifts to continue God's work in the world. What are you grateful for? During the offertory, I encourage you to think of what you are specifically thankful to God for, and consider your response as we continue our pledge drive in the coming weeks. Next week, I'll bring some charts and graphs with information about our current financial status. And I don't know about you, but it's November, and I'm already looking forward to a better 2021. 